What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. Today, we have some more RAM content for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and tin out my rear tail lights, my third brake light, and also my side marker lights on my mirrors here, my turn signals. I'm gonna smoke those out and smoke the third brake light out like I mentioned, and also the tail lights on my 2020 Ram 1500. So I just wanna go ahead and show you guys what I'm working with here today. Um, shout out to Lux Auto Concepts. I'll leave a link in the description below on where you guys can get these tint overlays for your Ram. Um, they make a lot of different products for a lot of different vehicles, so make sure you guys go check them out. But first, I wanna go ahead and show you, this here is the third brake light uh, tint overlay. These here are for the turn signals in the mirror. These here are for the reverse lights, which I'm not gonna run. I'm gonna leave those um, clear because when I'm backing up at night with limo tent, it's really hard to see. So I want them as most, I want the most light as possible when reversing. So I'm gonna leave those clear just like I did on my 2019. And then of course we have the overlays here for the left side and the right side, which I'll show you guys here how that works. But basically all we're doing is covering this clear brake light and turn signal area on the top and on the bottom. I'm leaving that clear. And then basically we just have the red ring around the tail light, which is the reflector and the running light. And I'll show you guys here a before and after um, with the lights on. That way you guys can get a good understanding on what it looked like before and after. If you guys recall, I had a 2019 Ram on the channel. Uh, that was my last truck. And what I did on those tail lights were I took them off the truck and I sprayed them with VHT nightshades. So the whole tail light was a gloss black and I had them on there for about two years, and I will say that after two years of having them on there, having the tint on there, the spray tint, I noticed they turned dull and they scratched really easily. So for this truck, I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I went ahead and ordered these tint overlays from Lux Auto Concepts, and I'm going to go ahead and um, see what it looks like just with filling in the clear areas on the taillight um, and leaving the red ring, kind of like I have on my Hellcat. I have the same Lux Auto Concept inserts with the stock red racetrack tail light as you guys can see on that. So like I said, I figured I'd switch it up, do something a little different on this truck and uh, see what it looks like. This is a quick, easy, cheap uh, way to tint your tail lights uh, without painting them or spraying them with VHD nightshades or wrapping them or tinting them with vinyl. Lux makes a full sheet of tint if you wanted to tint the whole entire tail light, but there's a lot of different you know, uh, curves and it would just be really hard to do on this tail light for the Ram. So we're gonna go ahead and put the pre-cut tint on the tail light and see what it looks like. So let's get started. All right, so before we get started, I wanted to go ahead and turn on the running lights for you guys so you can see what it looks like before with the running lights on and then after I'll do an after video as well. So here's before, this is stock. Being that this is a night edition Ram, um, the tail lights come with a black, a gloss black ring around the tail light and also a gloss black uh, insert here in the center. Um, that's like where your blind spot monitors and all that are. I also wanted to hit the unlock button and show you guys what the turn signals look like before. While we're at it, I installed some LED bed lights coming from the third brake light. Um, those are from Last Fit, so make sure you guys go check them out as well. So here's the mirror without the tent overlay. And I'll go ahead and hit the unlock for you so you can see what the turn signal looks like. And then, like I said, I'll do it again with the tint on there so you guys can see the difference. But let's go ahead and get started on this install. So before you get started installing the tint onto the taillights, you want to make sure you use the prep solution that Lux includes in their kit with the microfiber. Basically, all this is is uh, alcohol and basically gets all the wax or residue you have on your taillight so that the tint sticks really well without it peeling off. You don't want to have any residue or you know, particles, dirt, anything on the tail light before you go to stick it. So make sure you guys use the kit that they provide with the prep in it. So this here basically gives you an understanding on what the dark smoke looks like versus the clear, the stock clear 
um, turn signals. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it for you guys. As you guys can see, it's not much darker than stock in the factory, and you could still see it. So there's no worries about people not being able to see you hit your brakes or use your turn signals. So, so far so good. As you can see in the video, it took two seconds to apply that. Lux Auto Concepts makes a great product to work with. Super easy to install. One side done, as you can see it turned out great, I love the way it looks, basically gives it a nice blacked out look right in the center of the tail light. So there it is tinted with the Lux Auto Concepts inserts versus stock. I think it looks a lot better, what do you guys think? Comment down below, let me know your thoughts. And there you have it folks, install is completely done, as you can see the whole center of the tail light is now blacked out. Looks a lot better. I'm super happy with how they turned out. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Super easy install, guys. Took me literally five minutes to do both of them. So, um, you know, there's it with the lights off. Gives it a nice dark smoke look. Goes really well with the Night Edition RAM, being that everything's blacked out. Another thing I did do was I debadged the tailgate. I took the 4x4 off the right side and the Bighorn emblem on the left side. I think it looks a lot cleaner. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on that as well. Um, I do have big plans coming for this in the spring. We are going into winter here in Michigan, so I'm going to leave the truck as you see it uh, for the winter. This is my winter setup on stock wheels with BF Goodrich All-Terrain KO2 tires, 285-60-20 all the way around. I do have 2-inch spacers on the truck as well. As you can see, the tires poke out just a little bit. But this is gonna be how the truck looks for the winter. I do have other plans for it in the spring, different wheels and tires coming for it in the spring. But for now, it's gonna stay just like this for the winter months. I don't wanna ruin a brand new set of wheels in the snow and salt this winter. So now that we got the tail lights done, we're gonna go ahead and do the third brake light up top there. And I'll pick up the camera once that's done. Another thing I did was order up some vinyl overlays for my hood emblem here. Um, these came from Reflective Concepts. I'll leave a link in the description below on where I got these as well. But basically they're just gloss white pre-cut vinyl overlays that go over the 1500 emblem and then go in the Hemi and 5.7 liter. And I think it looks so much better than just the all black look that it comes with stock. Um, I think it definitely pops and goes along well with the black and white theme I have going on here. And I don't know if you guys saw in my previous video, but I did tint these out, the side markers, with some uh, gloss black 3M vinyl, the same vinyl that I wrapped the roof in. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys these. I haven't put them on the channel yet. I didn't want to make one separate video just for that. It took literally five minutes to install though. So reflective concepts, I will leave links in the description below on everything that you saw in this video. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on these. I think it looks so much better than just the all black emblem there. So. Alright, so I went ahead and installed the dark smoke tint on the third brake light off the truck. As you can see, it blends well with the gloss black roof. It's all smoked out, all tinted out. Here's like a better view from like far away. I like how it blends a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and hit the unlock button so you guys can see the cargo lights light up with the tint over them. As you can see, they're still really bright, even with the tint. So, very happy with how that turned out as well. So now, that the third brake light's done, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the mirrors. Wow, I'm really impressed on how that third brake light turned out. It blends really well with my gloss black roof. So, super stoked about that. The brake light and the cargo lights both shine through it no problem. So, um, I gotta go ahead and roll my tunnel cover back. 
But uh, yeah, so that completes the third brake light and the tail light overlays from Lux Auto Concepts. Now we're gonna move to the front of the truck and we're gonna do the turn signals on the mirror real quick. Knock those out, I think it'll look killer. All right guys, so I just got done with the driver's side mirror. I will say this was the hardest one I've ever done. Harder than any tail light I've ever wrapped, harder than any third brake light. This here had a lot of angles, a lot of corners. So you have one here and then when you wrap around here, you have to be really careful. You might need to use a heat gun. I didn't have to, I just stretched the material. Um, and you have to make sure you don't crease it because if you crease it, it's done. So um, that this corner here was really tough <clears throat> and this corner here was also tough. So make sure you guys don't crease it when you uh, install these. And then over here, you're gonna have some overlay. So I went ahead and used an X-Acto knife and just cut it on the plastic here uh, and tucked it in there. So. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It definitely looks a lot better smoked out in the dark smoke tint from Lux Auto Concepts. I want to unlock it so you guys can see the difference between um, the dark smoke and then the stock. So here's the dark smoke with the turn signal on. As you can see, the turn signal shines straight through there, no issues. And when it's off, it gives you that nice murdered out Stormtrooper look. So very impressed with this product. All right, guys, so I got the passenger side done now. Look how good that looks, guys. Wow, I'm so happy with how these turned out. It's crazy what a little bit of vinyl or some tint can do. It makes a huge difference. A little bit of thing, I mean, even this here, just some of the smallest things you can do to a vehicle just really make it pop and uh, make it unique, stand out from the rest. As we know, there's a lot of white on black, big horns rolling around, and just by doing these here little modifications, you stand out from the rest. Just like I wrapped the roof and, you know, the wheel spacers, the different tires, the tinted side markers. I mean, little things like that really make a big difference. So I'm very impressed with how they turned out. Check out them lines, no bubbles, no creases all the way around. As you can see, you got the Hellcat in the reflection, looking good. I got both cars detailed up this weekend, so it's one of the last nice weekends we're gonna have here in Michigan. I also got the bike put away, as you guys can see over here in the corner. I got the bike put away for the winter. Um, being that it's getting cold out, I went ahead and uh, just cleaned it up, detailed it, and put it away for the winter. So I do have more updates coming for the Road Glide. If you guys are here for Harley content, stay tuned. I have a lot of projects coming for that this winter. I gotta, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of stuff here in the garage. But that's gonna do it for today's install video on the Lux Auto Concepts tent on the Ram. Make sure you guys go check out Reflective Concepts. Get yourself some uh, emblem overlays. They make them for the side emblems, the front emblem. They make them for a whole bunch of different vehicles as well. So make sure you guys go check them out as well, Reflective Concepts. Make sure you guys stay tuned. I have a lot more coming for you guys on the Ram. I have more Hellcat content coming in the spring of 2021. And obviously I have a lot of Harley content coming this winter um, in the garage. We'll be doing a lot of install videos and projects on that. So that's gonna do it for today's video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate all your support on the channel. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.